So how are you finding this virtual reality thing? It's fun, right? Be Curious is a volumetric interactive VR sci-fi piece uh, in which you're going to have to go in and rescue Dom from some artificial super intelligence that he's trapped within. Our library of life is still being remodeled, so I think that's what we've got right now, but looks pretty good with that magnifying glass. But what we're after is an efficient, cost-effective, lightweight way of producing avatars at scale. Tristan Cesare, my uh, co-partner, had come up with an idea to see if we could just project a flat 2D video sprite onto a, a character as a cheap way of doing someone in the distance with any kind of fidelity. That idea kind of evolved in like, hey, why don't we shoot with a multi-camera setup and unwrap a face into a UV map and then actually try and wrap it around 3D. Essentially what we're doing is we're shooting a facial performance and we're putting it into the low poly mesh. And we're driving the animation of low poly mesh by retargeting that performance without putting markers, green dots all over the face. So we're not worried about trying to make all these little eye wrinkles and things like that. And then we're putting the video on top of that. And then the video carries all that extra detail and information. We were able to basically reproject the video that the Cartesian plane of the face was actually um, seeing. And we were able to unwrap that face and then reproject everything back onto the UVs and then lock it into the UVs. So that when you go into a game engine, you can now just throw a video texture onto your, onto your character. When our avatar wrinkles, squints or smiles and Dom smiles, you see those eye wrinkles. They're not 3D. But what's really exciting is that the nature of, of, of how we've done this, it works really well on mobile processors. This whole new market that they're trying to develop of, of under $500 mobile processor based 6DOF volumetric headsets with the Quest and the Focus. This avatar looks great in that platform because of its lightweight nature. Yes, I know it's pretty meta putting on a headset when you're in a headset, you know, just give it a go. Technically speaking, their rig and the rig that we created here at CERT um, is probably one of the best uh, rigs that I've used in my 15 years of um, animation, which is pretty amazing.